Welcome back to another Smash Thumbs video. Today, I'm going to be cleaning the siding with this thing. This is a Greenworks 1800 PSI electric pressure washer. It comes with the standard things. Wand, hose, cord, and four nozzles. Zero, 25, 40, and so. So, we're gonna give this thing a whirl and uh, I'll let you know what I think is good about it, what I think they should change on it. Oh, and I can't forget, it does have a soap container, just like every other one. So, let's see how this thing performs. So I pulled you down so I can show you this. I've got a leak right here, but it's not coming from the front, it's coming from back here. So that's one thing they need to fix on this. The other thing that's always funny to me is inlet here, outlet there. I would think it should be reversed. They have a strap to hang the electrical cord or your hose. Spot to hold the wand and a spot to use for whatever else you want, but there's no bottom piece. So it's just dangling there. This is just dangling here. I like like it so far, but there's just some things I wish they would change. And that leak has always been there since I've owned it for the last mm, couple months. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing plugged in. And we're going to start uh, doing the siding. So beside my big, besides my big water leak, once you do have the hose hooked up and everything, all you have to do is squeeze the trigger for about 30 seconds. Let all the air run out. You want a nice steady stream of water coming through. This is to make sure you don't burn up the pump. If water does empty out the pump and there's an air cavity there, it'll cavitate and burn up the electric motor. The best thing to use on this is a 50 foot, no more than a 50 foot. If you use a 100 foot, you can't go, stop, and then go. You're gonna have to give it some time to build up and then go. Goes with gas pressures and electric uh, pressure washers. So we'll let this thing go long enough. And this is what's cool. Once I turn the switch, it'll prime. That's it. Once I start hosing off, you'll hear it when, when you're squeezing. I'm gonna go have some fun. You can watch.
Now I'm not going to make you watch me do my whole house. So I just wanted to show you a section. It does clean it up nicely. Yes, it does take a little extra uh, scrubbing in some spots. So far, I like the tip. I'm using the 25 degree. Uh, maybe a little stronger than what's really recommended for siding. It's usually the 40 degree. It's nice, but at the fan edges, of course, those where the sweet spots on moving stuff are. That's where the most pressure is, just literally when it comes out. It's not bad overall. And uh, here shortly, we're going to do a little more. I'll show you how to drain the system and get it ready for storage. So after you get done, this is how you store it. Off. Unplug. Here's the fun part. If you don't have the shutoff valve right here, you can just hit the hit the close off the water flow and then pull it off. You don't want to go all the way down the stairs. Old fashioned kink works pretty dang good. Right where the nozzle will connect, you'll find a screen. Always double check that it's clean. Rinse it off if it's not. I'm pulling out my other washer. Always double check that your screen is clean. This right here will actually cause this to lose pressure. So double check it before and after every use. Some of the few, the few of the things that are common, of course, are soap tank, but this will only use the soap on low pressure, meaning that when you don't have uh, this on or you use the soap applicator, it only does it low pressure. The setback is it does it at a pretty high volume. You can go through this. If you put simple green in here to clean your concrete and your uh, garage or anything, you'll go through at least a tank and a half of this for a two car garage. So it does lay it down kind of thick. That to me is a little bit of a setback. Also, the trigger, your hands get tired holding this. It has a trigger lockout feel so you can't squeeze, but it has no trigger hold for me. Uh, granted, I've used uh, bungee cords, duct tape, or whatever before, but nobody ever has the a lock so it'll stay back so you can just spray without cramping your hands up all the time. Overall, this is a very good little machine. You can pick it up at one of your big box stores, but I'll make sure I leave I put a link in the description below on the main website so you can figure out where you get it for you, uh, in your area. The cost of, the, of this is anywhere from 119 to 130 dollars depending on the store Over, overall this this has done me very good it'll do my driveway my siding it'll do my deck it'll clean off a lot of things uh, and what can i say it's pretty light so there are some good things about this you can pick them up almost anywhere i'll make sure i put a link in the description below to finish this up all you have to do is just connect from the back, like I was saying before, I wish the water came in the back and your nozzle attachment came in the front. Leave that right down there. Best thing to do for this, try and get all that water out of there. Now I got some more. You don't want to store any water in the pump. It'll actually make it corrode. And try and keep it, try and keep storing from throwing water in the hose as well. It'll uh, gum it up. I've had some of these actually 
mess up and I forgot to drain it and it just clogged, clogged up the crud. Now the good thing about this, it does take universal fittings. So if you bust a hose, you can go to any spot and get uh, one of their hoses for their machines as long as it's universal fitting. Same thing with all the, the tip choices and most of the gun parts. So it does make it very easy to get parts for. And of course, just drain it. It's a lot easier for me to use this as the hose carrier than it is to use this. It actually uh, seems to stay a lot better. And of course, just wind up the cord. Now don't store this outside. I know, no duh, right? You would be surprised. This is as simple as it is. Very good machine. And I, I would say, and I would dare say that this right here, the, the money, is a very wise investment. Any big box store, even your local hardware store possibly, I'll make sure I put the uh, description and a link below so you can find it in your area. The cost is around $110 to $130. So a good investment for a good machine. There are some things that, granted I'm nitpicking on it, but some of the things I liked on it, some of the things I didn't. But still, overall, I do like it. I hope you like this video. Please comment, click, subscribe, please. All right, Skeeter. So, comment, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing. I'm trying to make this channel better. I can't do that without your help. If you want to see anything in my upcoming videos, let me know. I already have one commenter saying that he wants to see something on the iGrow app. I'm going to be doing that here pretty soon. Other than that, God bless and take it easy.